Ladies and uh, gentlemen, journals, welcome to the uh, press conference. My name is uh, Captain Dan Tamansen, and I'm the spokesperson of the uh, military committee and the chairman of the military committee. Uh, General Bartles, the chairman, uh, will update you on the outcomes of uh, the uh, Chiefs of Defense conference today. And afterwards, uh, Lieutenant General Stephen Danila will uh, take the floor. Questions and answers uh, will follow afterwards. General Bartles. Thank you. First of all, uh, welcome to all of you. And I'll start by giving you a very brief update on our military committee conference, which has just been concluded. This is one of the three times a year when NATO chiefs of defense and strategic commanders assemble to discuss the key challenges currently facing the alliance with the purpose of providing strategic military advice to our political leaders. We started with an update and a discussion on the wider security situation in the Middle East and North Africa, the outcome of which was raised situational awareness and understanding of the threats the Alliance may face to its collective security in the future. Following that, we were joined uh, via a video telephone conference facility by General John Allen, who is the commander of the International Security Assistance Force Afghanistan for a strategic update, followed by a discussion on the NATO's enduring commitment to Afghanistan post-2014, which will be significantly different from our current combat mission in the form of a much smaller training and assistant mission. Uh, the new NATO mission will not be ISAF by another name, but it will be all about making sure that the Afghans have the skills to do the job and not about NATO doing that job for them. We learned of the continuing improvements in the ability of the Afghan National Security Forces. Our plans remain on track, and we are currently discussing planning for military aspects of the long-term enduring partnership with Afghanistan, which our political leadership committed to at the Chicago summit last May. Over the next 27 months, we will continue to train and support the Afghan forces so they can secure their own country by the end of 2014. There is some hard fighting still ahead, and with that, some challenges and inevitable setbacks. There is no doubt, however, that significant progress has been made to help Afghanistan in moving forward as a nation. It was also heartening to hear General Stefan Danila demonstrate uh, Romania's commitment to the alliance with a pledge to support the mission into the future. Romania's, Romania's commitment, which is the seventh largest contributor to the coalition, is highly valued and appreciated. And I think this is something the Romanian people can be very proud of. Following our Afghanistan discussions, we look at how in the future NATO can support the development of an enduring political situation, solution sorry, to the unresolved issues in the Western Balkans the Chief of Defense reiterated the need for a durable political solution, encouraging all parties involved to continue his discussion under the auspices of the European Union. And uh, we conclude our meeting with a look at the future of our forces, particularly interoperability through the Connecting Forces Initiative and procurement and sustainment through smart defense. NATO is the best place for members and partner countries to cooperate and to develop joint initiatives in order to invest in common security. Finally, I wish to express on behalf of all the Chief of Defense of all the NATO nations our deepest appreciation for the hospitality given to us by the nation of Romania and the city of Sibiu. We have been extremely well looked after, well, we are still being looked after, and we will only be leaving tomorrow, enabling us to hold a very successful conference. But I have spoken long enough, hopefully just giving you a sense of what has been achieved, and I will immediately hand over to the Romanian Chief of Defense, General Danila. Thank you, General. General, bună ziua, bine ați venit. From the beginning, I would say it was a very good idea when in 2007, the military committee decided to organize its annual conference on a rotational basis in a different allied country each year. Following this decision, it was established that Romania would host this important event in 2012. 
Last year, the joint team consisting of IMS and Romanian staff officers evaluated different options and finally selected Sibiu as the most appropriate location for the conference. With the outstanding support of the local institutions and the agreement from the high-level decision, we are now here discussing relevant NATO subjects. It is an honor for the Romanian Armed Forces and the other involved institutions to support the organization and the conduct of such an important NATO event. The present conference of the NATO Military Committee is the first meeting of the NATO Chief of Defense after the summit in Chicago. The first military committee after event that takes place in Romania and the first conference under chairmanship of General Butters. As host nation of this conference, Romania has the chance to prove it is its weakness and capacity to fulfill its commitments in NATO, both in theater of operations and in relation with the allied consultation and decision processes. The locations of the activities, namely the cities of Sibiu and Alba Iulia, allow the participants to discover a remarkable part of the Romanian cultural values. The city of Sibiu was one of the European cultural capitals in 2007, and the city of Alba Iulia is the capital of our great union in 1980. In the end, I would like to express my certitude that this meeting will contribute to the future enhancement of the cooperation within NATO. Moreover, this activity creates an adequate framework for the development of an effective communication at the highest military level in NATO. Thank you. Thank you, General.